Today is our breakdown of the massive e-commerce launch happening tomorrow on our Toy Pizza web store. All week you've been seeing teasers on our Instagram and our Facebook and what could we possibly be dropping tomorrow? We're dropping everything. We're dropping everything we got. First up, the integer. This was a very scarce, rare pack in the Hastings okay. assortment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we agreed we would re-release it, and we've done that. We made it available on San Diego. We sold half of it. Half of the stock is left, and it's gonna be up tomorrow, and you can order it, and it's there. It's gonna and be that's it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay, so what else do we got? I mean, we had the three knives. We have brick, teal, lime, right. clear, gold, right. and, you know, integer. What else could there be? There's wave two, baby. That's wave right. two! We did it. We didn't tell anybody. There is an entire new assortment of action figures that are going to be available tomorrow. We have five new styles. We've got up first, the Death Knight. Death Knight is a former heroic Knight of the Slice, and through a series of tragedy, he becomes an enemy of the Knights. Featuring dark, smoky, clear armor and bright red eyes. This is a beautiful figure. I think this is going to be our best seller. It's going to be huge. We're going to do beautiful business huge. with this. We're going to build an amazing Knight of the Slice. Up next in this beautiful art made by James Clement, you can see someone saving the Purple Knight, and it can only be the Medic Knight. That's right. I mean, who else is going to patch up these pasta boys when uh, the S hits the fan, am I right? I would have said the S hits the F. I'm not allowed to say fan. Oh, fair enough. Oh, because of the Korean myth of sleeping in front of a fan? Uh, yeah, I believe in it, even though I'm Chinese. Can you please scroll through Wikipedia through this thing? No. The Medic Knight is one of the first knights to feature an additional Tampo print, the cool X on his chest. It's very awesome. And an X kind of turns sideways, it looks like a plus sign. No. Or first aid. Well, yeah. Multiplication. Uh, we were thinking about doing a green version for our friends in California and Colorado. I don't know what that is referring to. It's a dispensary. Speaking of Tampo print, these two guys are actually my favorite of the wave, next to another guy, but then two guys with the Tampo print on the shoulder. That's right, the Combat Twins, look at this. These are beautiful. I think they're so sick, and I love the artwork for this as well. The Combat Twins, of course, are the militarized version of the Knights of the Slice. They get sent into hot zones overseas, and they're really involved in more of the Black Ops portion of the uh, massive food expansion empire. And they're kind of enhanced in a way that they have like faster speeds, they're stronger. And Better they're at math. And math, yes. Math skills are off the charts. I like to consider them as a pair, and I said this before, I think they're Daft Punk. All right, well, we can't legally say that they're based on Daft Punk. We can. Cannot. Okay. We don't. Uncle Bramden will come down here and he'll lay out the law for us. Nah, Uncle Bramden. And then, of course, there is the wedding boy, Orange. This was made in honor of your nuptials uh, a few weeks ago. I keep the ring on even though we're currently separated. Yeah, sorry about that. That didn't last long at all. Yeah, that's okay. So, that's this night may be painful for some people. Some. One. But we're hoping you buy it all the same. The Orange Knight was conceived by me, I guess. No. Okay. But the Orange Knight, the story goes that as soon as Brick entered integer mode, he's been having these nightmares, if you will, or mm. night terrors, and he sees this character, and he may think it's in his head. Maybe it is in his head. Maybe it's only in the computer world, but this character exists somewhere. That's right, and you may be looking at some advanced comic art of the Orange Knight story. It depends if I want to put it in. It depends. But in addition to these five new styles, we also got the EMP armor. The EMP armor is a special new addition that can be purchased separately and it can swap out into any pre-existing knight. It glows orange as it radiates this electromagnetic pulse that will shut down everything around the knight in an emergency situation. Including all enemy sentinels and even the Nebuchadnezzar. And unfortunately, the knight's armor itself, which does have some electrical hardware. But how do they get around that? Simple. In the land of the Knights of the Slice, in the story of the world, they have a small kinetic motor in the heel of their boots, so every time they step, mm -hmm. it powers their armor in the event that there's a EMP situation. That's incredible. I stole it from Dune. 
Pins, 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 pins. Everybody loves our pins. They've been asking. We got a new micro size by a set of four. It comes in glow in the dark, classic gold enamel, which is amazing. And I love this one right here. Pink, Pink with a gold crust. Everyone stops us in the subway, on the streets. Where did you get that pin? And like, we made it, you know? And then we, we are it. We knew it the demand us. was there and we decided to make smaller ones because I actually like to wear pins on my collar. Yeah, it's fine. You're an adult child. So tomorrow, get up bright and early, check in on our social media, and we'll let you know when everything goes live. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Toy Pizza. Be sure to check out the store tomorrow for brand new toys and pins. And a big shout out to James Clement for the awesome artwork. And especially shout out to Matt Dowdy. He's the guy behind Goliath, if you didn't know that. Until next time, pizza out. You want to finish chewing your pad thai? No. I think I'm ready. And that's the end card. Mm -hmm. Pad thai.